want to just start a relationship, like a legitimate relationship, and and be exclusive instead of just like in limbo. Fans are not happy with how Love is Blind's After the Altar played out on Netflix over the weekend. Hey guys, welcome back to another Shared News. We've got to get into fans' reactions to After the Altar. But before we do that, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here to our channel. As always, I'm your host, Zachary Reality. And over the weekend, Netflix dropped three episodes of After the Altar for Love is Blind season two to give us an update on the relationships that trans transpired from the pods. However, that's not exactly what happened as After the Altar left us with more questions and no resolutions for the couples or updated relationship statuses in real time. And we've really got to talk about it because fans are not happy. We waited so long for this special. It was apparently filmed in March and now it's airing in September. So things just aren't really seeming to add up. Starting with Jarrett and Ayana. Now they definitely opened up about their relationship struggles so we do have to knock our hats off to them for being vulnerable and giving us some insight into what went wrong I don't want to have somewhere else to keep running to I want this to work but I'm also not gonna stay in something if I don't see change as it was revealed a few weeks ago that Jared and Ayana are getting divorced they did post it on social media their divorce statement about a week before the trailer came out for after the altar but at the end of After the Altar episode three, Jared and Ayana moved back in together since they moved out. So it's not really super up to date on what actually ended up transpiring that led to their divorce. However, I feel like with them, we do need to give them a pass, as I said, because they did open up and they said that it just wasn't meant to be. You know, Ayana said she loves Jared as a person, but she just doesn't see the value in having him as a partner since he goes out every night and he seems to be in his own world. Now, Danielle and Nick, everything seemed to be fine during the special, but we know in real time that they are separating. So since it wasn't up to date, Danielle took to her Instagram to confirm that her and Nick are separating, but she's not able to share why yet. Now that must be so frustrating, um, not being able to share your truth with your followers and your audience, because a lot of people wanna know what went wrong with Danielle and Nick since we invested so much of our time and our, you know, energy into the season and their relationship. For it to not go wrong and not have any context on After the Altar was frustrating for many fans. So I guess Danielle, you know, she said this on Instagram. She'll address it when she's able to and who knows when that will be. Um, Natalie and Shane, they tried to make things work after Love is Blind. They were going on and off, but they did not film one scene together at After the Altar. Now, Natalie shared that there was some messages between Shayna and Shane that she was uncomfortable with. If Shayna says that there wasn't flirting, like she's lying, they had been um, sending flirtatious messages to each other for several months. But Shayna and Shane denied the messages being anything more than friends and clarified that they never hooked up or tried to get back together. I'm not surprised by it, but... You're not? No, I mean, of course it happens, but I'm not there to defend myself. No, too. I know. And that's the worst part about it. It's strategic, she's so strategic. It's like I mean, strategic. Eh. I don't Shayna actually has a new man, Christos, who she brought to Natalie's 80s party in this winter house that they rented for the reunion trip. But once Shayna got wind that Natalie was telling everybody that there was these messages between her and Shane, she got extremely uncomfortable and decided to leave the party. Now, this is extremely frustrating for a viewer because this is after the altar. Like, we need stuff to go down. We need conflict resolution. We need to clarify things. And if Shayna is going to leave the party without actually talking to Natalie, then things aren't cleared up and we don't even know where they stand. So it is frustrating. I wish that Natalie and Shayna could have had a conversation. I understand that it was Natalie's birthday. She didn't want to ruin it or maybe she just didn't want to, you know, indulge in the gossip. But Natalie obviously felt some type of way about it. You know, she was trying to rekindle things with Shane. So I understand why Natalie would be uncomfortable if they're messaging, even if it's just friends. So I think all we needed was Shayna and Natalie to just have a conversation and clear it up. We also didn't see Natalie and Shane in one seen together during the three episode special. So, I mean, I guess they're not on the best of terms. I don't know. Kyle and Deep D were flirty during the show and shared the reason why they didn't want to take their relationship to the next level. And it's because they didn't want to jeopardize their friendship. However, by the end of the special, Kyle ended up asking Deep D to be official on the show. I want to just start a relationship, like a legitimate relationship and, and be exclusive 
instead of just like in limbo. But they have not given us any updates on social media where they're at now, since we know this show filmed in March. But Deep D conveniently has a new book coming out today about choosing yourself, which I think there is a great message in the book. She's really talking about self-worth, women empowerment. And I do want to give my hats off to Deep D. I know she put her all into this book. However, it is extremely frustrating if she is using the um, relationship and speculation of Kyle to kind of bring more publicity to her book. Um, and I hate saying that because I do really like Deep D, but it's just frustrating that we're not getting the answers. As I said, we gave so much to this show all year and we were invested and to just not get the truth or the tea um, is just frustrating. And you, and you feel like you're a, you wasted your time as a fan if these contestants can't be honest with us about where they're at. However, I also know we cannot blame the contestants for everything considering the um, After the Altar is, you know, um, a Netflix produced show. So possibly it could be a lot because of producers. Um, Mallory and Sal. Now, Sal has a new girlfriend, Jesse, who he brought to the winter house for the vacation. And a lot of fans did not like Jesse on social media. Um, so the tea between Sal and Mallory that was kind of exposed in After the Altar is that Sal found Mallory, you know, she ran, he ran into Mallory drunk in a car with a guy and it made him extremely uncomfortable and it kind of led to their breakup um, and one of the reasons why he said no at the altar. But Mallory discussed in her interview on After the Altar that nothing was going on and that it was just a friend and that Sal knows his her friends. So it, it kind of is a little sticky. I also feel like Mallory was very respectful of Jesse, Sal's new girlfriend. Um, I guess the fans thought Jesse was doing too much and they reported her Instagram account. Sal even confirmed on his Instagram that him and Jesse, you know, had to keep their relationship private until this show aired and that they're super happy together. So um, a little bit of some mess, um, but I guess there's no really resolution between Mallory and Sal. Um, resolution, I think, is the big word. It's what we really wanted to see from After the Altar. And unfortunately, it left us with more questions. And I don't know if people still want to know everything that went down, if they want to find things out, or if they're ready to move on for season three. We know that's coming in just a few weeks. Love is Blind is going to be in Dallas. And if the fans don't feel super, um, you know, uh, uh, happy with how this show ended, I wouldn't be surprised if Love is Blind viewership went down for season three. If, uh, if the majority of the fans feel feel disappointed on After the Altar and we feel like our time was wasted, I wouldn't be surprised if the Love is Blind fandom will slowly start to decrease. And we know how popular of a show this is, so I'm sure people will still be talking, but we'll have to kind of see how everything plays out the next couple of weeks. Maybe some of these contestants will do interviews and clear some things up. I know Jarrett is, has been doing a couple podcasts. Ayana has been doing a couple podcasts. So we'll see what happens. Um, but let us know in the comments what you guys think of After the Altar, because that is everything we have to share with you guys today. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Ring the bell before you head out of here so you're always up to date on all things reality TV. I'm your host, Zachary Reality. Thank you all so much for watching. My social media handles on the screen right now. Come check out my content and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.